<laughs> it just doesn't stop, though. It just doesn't stop. And the only reason I can talk about Mike is because he's a freak. He's a freak. <laughs> That's why people let you talk about him. Because if I brought up Catholic priest fucking kids, it'd get quiet as shit. But, but when Michael Jackson does it, it's okay because he's a freak. His face is all cut up. But just remember, when you look at that thing that he calls his face, <laughs> that he did that for you somehow. <laughs> somehow he thought you might, maybe it'll help. Maybe people will like me more if I turn myself into a white, ghoulish-like creature. I don't know what the fuck it is, but he did it for you. And I appreciate the gesture, Michael Jackson, if you're watching this. I appreciate that gesture, and I want you to know, fuck everybody, Dave Chappelle understands. Because you want to know something? I'm getting some work done. Surprise, yes. <laughs> Nothing major. You would never know if I didn't tell you, but it's some shit I'm insecure about that I want to work on. If you must know, I'm getting Botox done on my balls to get these wrinkles out. Finally, <laughs> and have these shit smooth as eggs. No, I can't wait. I cannot wait. And I'm not stopping there. That's just phase one, baby. I'll be like Bob Vila, these old balls. I'm fixing them up. I'm plucking all the hair out. I gotta make room. I know this. I gotta make room. I'm gonna tattoo a gangster ass face on them. Mean expressions like this. And then I'll grow the hair back on the bottom so they got beards like me. <laughs> and then I'm hitting that beach and looking for ball suckers. I'm going to wear some high shorts just like this. And walk up to women with a confidence I've never had before. Pardon me, miss. I don't mean to be rude. But do you suck balls? Excuse me? Miss, relax. You didn't even let me finish. Do you suck these balls? <laughs> oh my God, those balls are as smooth as eggs. Yes, I'll suck them. <laughs> I've played this scenario out in my mind a million times, lady. That's how it always ends. Yes, I'll suck those balls. All our stars, all our stars, man. Our Kelly pissed on his victim. <laughs> I know, it was rough. But I mean, again, I can't even judge our Kelly. First of all, we don't know if these allegations are true or not, and even if they are true, if you want to know how I feel about it honestly, if a man cannot pee on his fans, I don't want to be in show business anymore because, well, that's why I got in the game, baby. I got dreams, too. You guys are confusing the issue. Why you guys are busy worrying about if R. Kelly even peed on this girl or not, you're not asking yourself the real question that America needs to decide once and for all. And that question is, how old is 15 really? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I'm not saying that a person is as smart as they're going to be at 15. That's not what I'm saying, man. But I am saying 15 to me it's old enough to decide whether or not you want to be pissed on. I mean, that's me. If you can't make a decision like that by the time you're 15, then just give up, motherfucker, because life is way harder than that. I make tougher decisions all the time. If you don't want to get pissed on, just get the fuck out of the way. It's not even a decision. If I stop peeing on the front row, they're not going to have to calculate and think, oh, how do I feel about this? Am I okay with it? They just move. You can do that at 15. I, I could have. I've been 15. When I was 15, I was doing stand-up in nightclubs. I smoked reefer from time to time. Friends were selling crack. I was trying to finger-fuck people. I knew what was happening around me to some degree. Getting pissed on was the least of my worries at 15. Trust me. But it keeps coming up. There's a lot of confusion around that age. Anytime 15 comes up, people freak out. Like when that girl Elizabeth Smart got kidnapped. Right? Remember in Utah last year, 15-year-old girl Elizabeth Smart was kidnapped, and then they finally found her, and the whole country was relieved. And I was the only one saying, damn, she wasn't that smart after all. <laughs> not because she got kidnapped. That could happen to anybody. I'm not knocking her for that. 
I'm just saying, if you kidnapped me when I was 15, you got to take me further than eight miles away from my house, man. God damn. You can't hold me prisoner around shit I recognize. I'll break away. I'll, I'll break away. Fuck off me, nigga. That's my bus stop. I know where I'm at. I'm going home. She was missing for six months, eight miles away from my house. That's two exits, man. That's nothing. And while she was missing, during this half a year that this girl was missing, there's a seven-year-old black girl who gets kidnapped in Philadelphia. Nobody knows her name. They might have talked about her two or three times on the news, but she should have been the top story because she chewed through the ropes and had both of these motherfuckers in jail in 45 minutes flat, seven years old. I'm not making this up. There's two crackheads kidnapped her and took her back to the crack house and tied her up. And then they left her. They said, crackheads, they gotta make moves. Crack, smoke, chocolate, eat. These motherfuckers made moves, they was out. But as soon as they left, this little girl got the nibbling. She was kidnapped at four o'clock and at home watching herself on the news at 5.30. That shit is crazy. That's a, that's a news story. That is a news story. Now, Meanwhile, in Utah, 15-year-old Elizabeth Smart's captors left her alone, too. And they didn't even tie her up because they're hillbillies. They just bounced. Don't try to escape, bitch, or we'll kill you. Be right back. They leave. And she's 15, sitting in the house by herself. How am I going to get out of this? Come on, Elizabeth, think. Think, Elizabeth, how am I going to get out of here? Why don't you just open the fucking door and go outside? Have you thought about that? Do you have a quarter? Do you know your phone number? You're 15, bitch, run! Stop thinking and stop making moves! I know I sound mean, and I know what the people are thinking when I'm saying this. Dave, she is only 15. All right, but that's the discrepancy, because when you talk about a little girl like Elizabeth Smart, then the country feels like 15 is so young and so innocent. On the flip side, here comes 15 again. Now we're talking about a 15-year-old black kid in Florida. This black kid accidentally killed his neighbor when he's practicing wrestling moves that he saw on TV. Now, was he a kid? No. They gave him life. They always try our 15-year-olds as adults. The snigger knew what he was doing. It's a goddamn pile driver. If this kid gets on the ropes, there's no stopping him. We'd have to send the rock to arrest him. And they gave a 15-year-old boy life in jail. If you think that it's okay to give him life in jail, then it should be legal to pee on him. That's all I'm saying. You got to make up your mind across the board how old 15 actually is. That's all I'm saying. So I'm going to tell you right now, if somebody comes in here and puts a gun in my head and says, Chappelle, you got a choice to make. You're either going to jail for a month or we'll let you go, but you got to let R. Kelly pee on you. I'm not hesitating. Bring in R. Kelly and tell him to stay away from my ass. I'd rather get pissed on on the outside than fucking the butt on the inside, so. I can't go to jail with some smooth Botox balls and think everything's going to be all right. It's not that kind of place. Take my chance with that piss. Piss will wash off with a 10-minute shower. I'm certain of it. This piss coming right out. What could I do? They're going to put me in jail. Society's is changing rapidly. Can't smoke indoors. What the fuck is that all about? I got kicked out of titty bar for smoking. No, that shit was ridiculous. So the stripper did it. The stripper came up like, your smoking is a health risk for me. I don't want to work in this kind of environment. Bitch, you have your gonorrhea-infested pussy in my face. You started it. And they threw me out. It's the dirtiest place I've ever been thrown out of. And just to give you an idea of what I mean by dirty, lap dances at this place, three dollars. It's fucking disgusting. And at the same time, who could pass up a sale, son? It was three dollars. Of course I did it. It's only 12 quarters. Said, I'll break a five for that. <laughs>